Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert 1 8 to a percent. Now when we convert a fraction to a percent, we can start by dividing the numerator, the top number of the fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction. This will give us a decimal. Once we have that decimal, we convert it to a percent by multiplying it by 100. And a quick way to multiply by 100 is to move the decimal twice to the right. So we need to start by converting this to a decimal by dividing. So for 1 8th, we can set this up as 1 divided by 8. And now we can go through the division process. So we have 1 divided by 8. How many whole groups of 8 in 1? How many 8s in 1? Well, we can't do that. So we need to use a decimal and a 0 in order to work through this. Once we have that decimal and the 0, we can bring the decimal straight up into where the quotient, the answer will be. And now we can think of this as 10 divided by 8. So how many whole groups of 8 in 10? How many 8s in 10? Well, 1. That gets us to 8. So we put a 1 above the 0. And make sure that 1 is above the 0 since we used that 0 and thought of this as 10. That's going to line us up correctly. Now we multiply. 1 times 8 is 8. Subtract. 10 minus 8 is 2. So we don't have a clean cut 0 there at the bottom. So we need to continue on by using another 0 that we can bring down. And I'm going to extend the division bar here. Now we have 20. 20 divided by 8. How many whole groups of 8 in 20? How many 8s in 20? Well, 2. That gets us to 16. Multiply. 2 times 8 is 16. Subtract. 20 minus 16 is 4. So we don't have that clean cut 0 yet there at the bottom. Let's use another 0 in order to continue on that we can bring down. Now we have 40. So 40 divided by 8. That gives us 5. So we put 5 up here. Multiply. 5 times 8 is 40. Subtract. 40 minus 40 is 0. So now we have that clean cut 0 there at the bottom and nothing else to bring down within our problem. So we are done. 1 8 equals 125 thousandths. Now we need to convert this decimal to a percent by multiplying it by 100. And again, we can multiply this by 100 by moving the decimal twice to the right. So let's rewrite our decimal off to the side here and move the decimal once, twice to the right. This gives us 12.5 so 1 8 equals 12.5%. So there you have it. There's how to convert 1 8 to a percent. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.